Hey everybody, so today we're going to run through the lead and the rhythm for Mr. Brightside. Uh, we'll start with the lead, which is just a repeating piece of picking. It goes around and around. We're going to have our capo on the 4th fret. Um, and we set up our fingers with our ring finger on the 11th fret on the D string. Uh, we're going to have our middle finger on the 10th fret on the G string. We're going to have our index finger on the 9th fret on the E string down bottom. And our little finger goes onto the 11th fret on the E string and it comes off again. Okay, so we've got a little picking pattern which goes... Like that. And we're going to change our finger shape but the picking pattern will always stay the same. So we're always picking... Um, it's eight different notes. The first four are picking the D string G string, E string, G string, B string. So, in terms of the names of the strings we're picking, that's D, G, E, G, B. Like that. Okay. Okay, so the last three notes that we're picking are... Sorry. Okay, so that's on the E string with our little finger on, then E string with our little finger off, and then hitting the D string last of all. Okay, so the whole picking pattern goes D, G, E, G, B, then E with the finger on, E with the finger off, and then D. So it should go like this. Okay, so I'm going to play that through just, say, three or four times. One, two, three, four. So as we go on through this little picking pattern, the strings that we pick are going to be the same throughout and it's just going to be the shape of our left hand that changes. Okay, so the next shape we do is we lift up these two fingers, the ring finger and the middle finger. We're going to put the middle finger on the 10th fret on the D string and your ring finger is going to go on the 10th fret of the G string. Um, and if we do exactly the same pick pattern, including putting that little finger on and taking it off again, we should get... Okay, so the first one was... And the second one is... Okay, and the last one, we just take off this middle finger and we're still doing the same picking pattern. That D string's going to be open now, so... And that one we play twice. So the whole riff, um, the whole set of finger picking patterns is one of these. Oh, one with this. Sorry. So one with your fingers like that, and then two with your middle finger off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play that through four times and each time I'm just going to go a little bit faster. So we'll start at just at that speed. So one, two, three, four.
Cool, okay, so the thing to do with that is just to take it um, from the slowest speed that you can play it at. Making sure we get all those notes right. And then just as you go along, add speed to it as you go. And you should be aiming for getting it up to song speed uh, eventually, but you don't have to get there straight away. Just gradual increases in speed is fine. There it is. Okay, so we'll move on to the rhythm now. Um, the first thing with the rhythm is the strum. Each chord on our chord chart here, ta-da, for each bar if you like, is represented by eight strums. Um, so if you want to sound full on rock and roll, you go for down strums. Eight down strums is like about that speed. Um, now you'll probably find this quite tiring on the old arm after a whole song. Um, so your other option is to change those into down ups, which automatically means you're moving half as fast with your arms. So that'll sound like. Now it's up to you whether you choose to do all down strokes or all down ups, or else you can do what I'm going to do, which is to mix it up. Uh, when you get tired of doing down strums, to move on to down ups for a little while. Okay, so what we have here is the verse and the chorus. Okay, the verse here goes C, C over B, we'll look at that chord in a second. F, F, goes through that four times, and it goes A minor, A minor, G, G, F, 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 and it goes through that pattern twice. Okay, so what I mean when I say C over B, it's just this weird chord here that's crossed between a C and a G. Okay, so all we've done is we've played a normal C chord. Then we lift our middle finger up onto the second fret on the A string and we take our ring finger off. It's important when you play this one to try and avoid hitting that top string because it'll make a funny noise. Now C here, we're going to try and play it from the A string down. And then we change to our C over B like that. Okay, and the last chord in there is F twice. Okay, so that's the first line of the verse. I'll just play that through twice. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you'll notice that for each of those chords written down there, I've done eight down strokes, so I've done the C eight times, C over B eight times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. and then because there are two of those Fs, we're doing 16 in total. Okay, so once you've played that line four times, we then go on to A minor, A minor, G, G, and four Fs. Okay, so remembering that each time I've written a chord here, that's eight down strokes. So you'll have G, so G's, a total of four Fs. So once you've done this one, C, C over B, F, F, four times, and this one, A minor, A minor, G, G, F, 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 two times, that constitutes a whole verse. The next thing that happens is the chorus, and the chorus is this pattern, C, F, A minor, G, a total of eight times. Okay, so we'll just go into that. One, two, three, four, C.
Cool, okay, so I reckon we're ready to have a crack at that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play through the verse and the chorus twice. Um, so that'll be this thing four times, this thing twice, this thing eight times, and then right back to the top and starting over again. Cool, okay, and the speed will go, go just a little bit faster than we were practicing just then. So we were going that speed, we'll try and push further. So, one, two, three, four. So that's about 75% of that song, and then we'll finish off the rest next week. Happy strumming, and I'll see you later.